Thank you, dear students. Welcome to my class. I am Babu Kumar Ming, assistant teacher, Hotel Union High School. I hope, dear students, you all are well. By the grace of Almighty, dear students, let us start our class. So, what can you see here? There is change in sentences written on the blackboard. So. Through these, you can easily understand that today we are going to learn about sentence sentences. Now, dear students, we have to know sentence sentences are of two kinds. The first one, transformation. So what is transformation and what is conversion? We have to know that. Here is the transformation. This is one kind of changing sentence where the meaning of the same sentence will be intact. And the conversion is this is another changing sentence. And here the meaning of the sentence will be changed. Now let's see the example of this. He goes to school. The answer will be according to transformation. The answer will be doesn't. He go to his school. Adding one person. Let's see the example. He goes to his school. Very negative. The sentence will be. I mean, the answer will be. He. Does not he does not go to his school. So look, dear students, we have written two sentences here. In the first one, we have changed this type of sentence without changing meaning. But in the second one, we have changed its meaning. That's why the first one is transformation and then this second one is conversion. So, dear students, when we are going to do this effectively, or previously, we have to know certain rules. And now, let's the let's start the first rule. When there will be any word like only before person. In your sentence, how can we change this? This sentence from I have to negative. Why we will make it negative? Instead of only, we will use none but. Let's see the example of it. Only. Rohit can only Rohit can do this. The answer will be none but Rohit can do this. So look at this here. In this sense, in this type of only. Now let's turn to the next rule. And in the next rule, when you will see only class object, how can we change this from affirmative to negative? We will see that now. Just listen. Here, 
Instead of this only, we will use nothing but because after these only there is object, not person. So now we will let's see the example of it. I have. Only a shirt. Make it negative. The answer will be I have nothing but a shirt. Now let's turn to the next rule. Just yes, now we will see rule number three. Here in this sentence, there will be only plus number. So that's the when we will see only plus number in our sentence, we can use instead of only not. Not more than or not less than when we are going to take it from affirmative to negative. Let's see the example of it. I have Plus, subject, plus. 
cannot or could not plus b1 look dear friends here is cannot or could not so when we will use cannot or when we will use could not if the sentence is in present indefinite tense we will use cannot and if it is in past tense we will use could not there let's see the example of it he is to we to walk so the answer will be like this he is so we that the subject is he look dear friends here the sentence is in the uh, present indefinite tense that's why we will use here cannot he is so we that he cannot walk wow. How can we change this sentence into negative? When we are going to make this from affirmative to negative, we will use not only instead of both and instead of and, we will use a but also. As for example, both. you and your friend can do this so dear friends in this example we will use that not only not only your friend can do this next one move on to the next one dear students when the sentence will be like as soon as Yes, sir. I think you have understood this very well. 
Now, this is time for homework. Number two, he is too dull to understand this. Third one, he is only six. Fourth one. As soon as he entered as soon as he entered the class they stood up And the last one, I have only a shirt. That's it. You have. You have to comment on this in your exercise book, and you will do this homework at home. After completing this homework, you will submit it to your respective English teacher, and he will credit you with marks because it will be part of your exam as continuous assessment. Dear students, it is known to us that we are going through the pandemic situation. So stay home, stay safe. All the government orders. Thank you for this day. Thank you all.